Welcome everyone. If you found this video, this is season two, episode three of our multi-part outdoor grow series. And in this series, I'm gonna take you through the entire process from seed to harvest on how to cultivate cannabis. My name is Rudy and we are currently in my garden. Now, if you found this episode out of order and haven't seen the previous two episodes, I will link the playlist to the top so you guys can check that out. But let's go ahead and start the video. So today we're gonna to be giving our plants a liquid fertilizer using this Dr. Earth Pure Gold 111. And I'm going to be using this hose and sprayer to spray the liquid fertilizer to my entire garden. So this sprayer makes it easy if you have a large garden that you need to apply liquid fertilizer to. But it's definitely not necessary. I always try to apply liquid fertilizer or even water either early in the morning or towards sunset. That way the liquid has time to absorb into the plants. Sometimes you can overspray and wet the leaves. If this is done in the heat of the day, the water droplets on the leaves can act as a magnifying glass and the sun's rays can burn your leaves. Ah! Yeah guys, wanna give you guys a quick little update. This white truffle here has been doing really well in this pot and under this environment. We've been getting a heat wave and I have put these two umbrellas up, which basically cover way more sun. I think it's like an 80%. Um, but what happens is because that way is north, the sun comes about r right across, kind of towards the end that direction. So towards the morning, obviously it's all shaded out because of my house and the umbrellas. But towards around three o'clock or so, the sun will be around that area, so it'll be shining down. It gets full sun, and then it gets some shaded sun since I have the shade cloth up. Getting enough sun. You can see it's looking really nice. I didn't train it whatsoever. I don't think I'm gonna train any of my outdoor plants. So for the most part, it is looking really, really good. You can see though, the bottom leaves look like they're getting some fungal disease maybe. It doesn't look too bad at all. I'll just clip any of these that I find. But for the most part, this plant has been looking quite nice. So around week six or seven of veg, you should start to see early development of the female anatomy. Now this is just an estimation. Your seed bank should have provided you with a better veg and flowering times when you purchase your seed, as some cultivars can take shorter or longer depending on the variety. You should first start to see what's called the stipule. This stipule is considered a leaf. However, on cannabis plants, this is where you will start to see the development of the plant's sex. Sex? Yes, please. Now, these stipules can be identified by their sharp looking appearance. Many get this confused with the bract, and many people also refer to the bract as a calyx, which too isn't entirely correct. But you'll first start to notice the growth of a stipule at a node. And I notice simply the intersection on the stem where new growth or branches form. Eventually you'll see the formation of the plant sex between the armpit of the stipule and the stem. Now this small nub here may be a bract, which is part of the female anatomy, but I think this is too early to tell. Here's a much better depiction. This is from my blueberry harvest in season 1. Now here you can see the stipules, and in between you can see the fully formed bract and you too can see the stigma, which is commonly known as pistils, coming from the bract. Now the bract and the stigma both make up the female anatomy of the plant. Gentlemen, it's a girl! Yeah! So be on the lookout for stipules around week 6 or 7 of veg, which will show you you're nearing the flowering stage. I'm gonna take you on to these. So this one's in a self-watering pot. So this French cookie ended up dying. It was the stunted French cookie that ended up sprouting late. This one is doing okay. Um, it looks like there might be spider mites, but I've checked and don't really see anything under the leaves. So I gotta double check to make sure what this is. Now this one, this white truffle here, really bushed out more of the white speckles and here's the bubba you see those white hairs there are the pistols so definitely indication of it being a female flower which they should be they are supposed to be a feminized plant so I don't see any development of any pollen sacs or anything like that do got some pest damage few little holes here and there um, but yeah just checking 
underneath the leaves for any caterpillars which I don't see and then we got the blue bonnet this one's the tallest of the entire bunch as compared to the rest I mean this one's right behind it this is the second French cookie if you have grow bags like this as a fabric pot the soil can dry out quite fast and that's kind of by design these pots are meant to basically be able to water and then all the excess water can seep out so it's not actually drowning your plants which is a good thing but on the flip side it can't dry out so I've been having to come out every day and water especially in this heat wave that we've been having and the size of the pot really doesn't matter I would however suggest getting a pot that's five gallons or more uh, anything less than five gallons especially in an outdoor environment you might not get the best results however I've grown in three gallon pots indoors under you know grow lights and had success but for me I go with five gallons or more when growing outside and that's it for this episode so I'm not sure how many videos are gonna be going in this series but I'm just gonna be documenting the major milestones and you know the ups and downs of everything but sometimes there really isn't much to report on but now that we're nearing the flowering stage there's a lot more videos to come so if you want to stay up to date with the groceries, don't forget to hit the on-screen icon right below me to subscribe. And you can click on the groceries playlist thumbnail to the side of me if you want to check out more of these videos in this series. And I want to let you guys all know that you won't get a harvest if you don't sow seeds. <laughs>